Sure. Hey, uh, thanks for uh, joining us. Uh, we were not able to practice today because of the weather here in Starkville. It's just really unsafe right now to drive around. I didn't want to get, it was determined by myself along with uh, our administration to uh, make sure no one got hurt. Well, the class is canceled today as it is tomorrow on campus in person. Uh, they do have uh, virtual learning. Uh, we are going to make it work tomorrow to get to practice by getting uh, some uh, vehicles that are four wheel that we have within our programs. A couple of our coaches have them and a couple of uh, the players do. Uh, we anticipate the game being moved uh, from tomorrow night to uh, potentially uh, Thursday. We are waiting to get confirmation of that from the conference office. Uh, this can be very difficult to get around here again tomorrow. The roads are slick. The airports are closed both today and tomorrow. The airport runways are frozen. So uh, we're, uh, we're having difficulty um, and uh, you know, hope that we'll be able to, uh, you know, by Wednesday, have things start to clear up. It's supposed to get above 32 degrees on Wednesday. So that should really help a lot. Appreciate that, Coach. We'll start with Joel Coleman and then go to Paul. Joel, go ahead. Hey, Ben. I know after the game the other night, uh, Iverson was talking about just the uh, the challenges of staying positive right now and, and trying to, you know, keep everybody in the right mindset despite the struggles and things. I, I know with you guys not practicing today, I don't know how much you've seen the guys really since Saturday, but just from what you have so far, what do you kind of feel like the mood is and, and just uh, what are kind of those challenges that you have moving forward, trying to keep everybody, you know, staying positive and feeling good? Yeah. You know, we, we uh, met yesterday because we had a lift. So we lifted as a team at noon and then we had a team meeting together for about 45 minutes uh, and really tried to, you know, get uh, some feedback from the guys uh, so that we can, you know, try to finish really strong here these last five games with our performance and effort and intensity and preparation. And, you know, my whole thing as a coach and, and you know, talking with my team is, you know, I, I just want to know that we're doing everything we can to be the best we can be. If we're doing our very best in our preparation and our effort and trying to execute the best we can both ends of the floor, that's all I can ask as a coach. And that's all, that's all we want. And, and to have fun doing it, you know, and, and uh, really being together. And, you know, obviously it was a very disappointing loss on Saturday against Vanderbilt and give them credit. They played great. And especially, uh, you know, I thought Pippen was really good. Um, you know, really uh, ran their team incredibly well, but, you know, we, uh, we've got to be able to uh, be tougher in that and not allow a team when it's 28, <laughs> tie game with five minutes to go in the first half going to run the way they did because that you know really determined the outcome of the game and uh uh yeah you know, i think our guys are actually going to benefit to be honest with you because the last two days joel we're off and some of these guys have played so many minutes i think sometimes when you get two days off for your legs it can really help you and uh so um, i'm hoping that will be the case and also just the time to reflect mentally about some of the things that we talked about as a group yesterday. Go ahead, Paul. Coach, you had uh, Derek found in the starting lineup for the first time against Vanderbilt. What were your thoughts about how he reacted to that experience and, and your thoughts on the lineup moving forward? You know, uh, he uh, is obviously done a really good job for us as of late. He's played in very few games when you look at him and, you know, he had a tough stretch there when the game was actually 31-28. He had three plays in a row that, that uh, uh, one was a turnover trying to pass to Abdul, and then two were just, you know, ill-advised shots at the rim that all turned into baskets. Um, and so, uh, you know, he had a tough game, which is kind of be expected. He's a freshman who uh, finally played like a freshman for the first time uh, after playing so well the previous couple games. And he's still going to be a major part of what we're trying to, you know, get out of the rest of this year in terms of his playing time, because I think he's done a really good job. And in terms of you know, who we start uh, moving forward, that'll be, you know, game by game. We'll swing it up to Lexington and Jerry Tipton for a couple. Jerry, go ahead. 
Yeah, Ben, I, I, I wanted to ask you about Vandy. Kentucky plays them uh, Wednesdays, if weather permitting. Uh, I'm wondering, you know, they beat you guys, and they've been competitive, uh, even though their record might suggest otherwise. What, 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 how, how competitive are they? Well, I, I think they really played hard defensively against us. I think that they, they did a great job doubling our, our ball screens and really uh, affected Iverson. Uh, early in the game and kind of put him on his heels. Uh, and he's getting, got to be able to handle that better. And something we talked about yesterday and he watched the film so he could learn from it. And, uh, but I thought overall, they really did a good job executing. I think it's amazing about them, Jerry, is how well they shoot the ball. I mean, this is a really good three point shooting team that has just about everybody on their team can knock down threes. And I think with uh, what they've done, putting Jordan Wright in the starting lineup has been a big benefit for him because he brings toughness. And, uh, you know, you're right. The last four games prior to our game, they were in every single game at Florida. You know, could have won at Georgia, had the ball down one with 15 seconds to go and uh, had a chance to win that game. They beat South Carolina rather easily. Uh, and then they had one other game that was a close game with Auburn. So they're, they're playing. Uh, good and you know they've been young and DeSue's one DeSue and Pippen are two of the better players in our league uh, so that's a tough game for Kentucky no doubt is that that's at Vanderbilt yes it's at Vanderbilt yes. makes it even tougher and, and I wondered too how confident are you uh, that the SEC tournament will be played because I know the NCAA has given conferences the option to not play a conference tournament yeah I, I think uh, that it will be played for sure I'm, I'm very confident we're playing the SEC tournament. What gives you that confidence? Give me that. The leadership of our league. Thanks. Appreciate it, Jerry. We'll go ahead and swing it over to John Sokoloff. John, go ahead. Hey, Ben. Uh, how have these guys kind of been in terms of like the DJ Stewarts, the Iversons, the Abduls, like the leaders of this team? How have they been kind of off the court with, uh, with the other guys the last week or so? You know, we had a meeting yesterday, as I mentioned, John, and, and uh, you know, we had a chance for some guys to kind of, you know, talk amongst uh, each other. And I thought it was real healthy and I thought it was, you know, positive. Uh, we have good kids. I mean, I think they're very good with each other, very supportive of one another. And so, you know, we, we've got to, uh, you know, regroup here and, uh, you know, finish strong in terms of, you know, understanding that, you know, we're, we're only as good as each other and we've got to be, you know, all tied together and, and all, you know, the uh, understanding of, uh, you know, it's, we're only going to be successful if everybody's pulling, you know, in the same direction and, you know, and doing the very best they can do. And as long as we're doing that, that's all I can, you know, demand. I mean, as long as we're doing our very best, that's all you want as a coach. You know, that's something I learned from John Wooden that uh, they didn't even, you know, when he was coaching, it wasn't even about trying to win. It was just trying to try to play the best that they could play and then let everything else take care of itself. And it's kind of what I'm trying to get them to focus on. It's just be the best that we can be. And then everything else takes care of itself at both ends. And uh, I had a quick follow-up to that. I know you can't probably get into too much of specifics of that meeting, but um, I mean, how constructive was it for your guys? And, and did they cover like a, you know, a lot of ground and, and yeah, how, how was it? I'm not going to get into particulars. You're correct, John. <laughs> Let's swing it over to Garrett. Garrett, go ahead. Um, ben, the SEC obviously has a lot of talented guards. Um, where would you rank Sharif Cooper um, compared to some of the other guys you've seen, at least from what you've seen on film? He's one of the better point guards in our league, for sure. Uh, when you look at him as a point, you know, he's a true point. Creates for others, can uh, get his, you know, score himself. Um, you know, he's really a smart player, very unselfish player. I've been very, very impressed with him. And you know, when you look at out the league, throughout the league, and, you know, we've seen, I've seen, you know, most everybody in our conference, and the guy that, to me, you know, I mean, Herb is really interesting in Alabama because he's playing the point, and, uh, you know, he's a very interesting guy to be your point guard and, and main ball handler. 
I thought smart and I think smart is really special. I think Javante is, is about as good as it gets uh, in terms of point guard in our conference. Really impressed with him. We'll go back to the top of the order and Joel Coleman. Joel, go ahead. Kind of along the same lines of what Garrick was asking you there, Ben, but I don't know how much you've gotten to watch Auburn overall. I don't know how much all the weather situation has, has messed with things, but just – What's your general overall thoughts on them and, and, and what, what you guys will be looking out for whenever you play, uh, whenever that game comes yeah, about? Well, 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 I'm sure that uh, Matt will let you all know as soon as we know more. Uh, you know, I know it's not going to be tomorrow. There's no way we can get there. I mean, we can't drive there and we can't fly there. But uh, hopefully it'll be Wednesday or Thursday at the latest. Uh, that being said, they're, they're a really talented team. Uh, you know, I watched their game against Kentucky in 82-80, uh, you know, and they they're really played uh, very hard against Kentucky there. And, uh, you know, you, I'm impressed with their bigs. I thought that JT4 played great. You know, he knocked down five threes, really stretches the floor well. Uh, they're very long, very athletic, very good on the offensive glass. Alan Flanagan is one of the best, you know, wings in our conference and really playing good basketball. Cambridge, uh, they, they play extremely hard. They're, they're very good uh, in terms of trying to, you know, pressure the ball and get after you defensively. They're a great offensive rebounding team, uh, you know, so that they, and they've got talent. I mean, you know, Cooper and JT Thor are two of the best freshmen in our league for sure. And, is, you know, was talking about Cooper's one of the best point guards, regardless of age in our conference right now. I mean, I think he's number one in the country in uh, free throws made per game, and he's uh, you know, leading the conference in assists. Pretty impressive. 